Peace and royal greetings, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. To those of you who are catching this as the recording that it will soon become, thank you for joining and thank you for your patience as we wait for others to even see that we have gone live and to um, join us this evening. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves out there in this lovely world, enjoying the spring weather. It's such a divine time, a real true new year that we are emerging into with us coming into spring, you know, not just that winter new year. And with us coming into this new year, it's important to think about our health from a whole nother perspective. And I am just so absolutely honored that we have the lovely Queen Afua mm -hmm. here to help guide us, mm -hmm. you know, and to give us that divine wisdom, that ancient divine healing, loving, pure wisdom so that we could be our strongest, most optimal selves. So thank you guys so much for joining us. At the end of this segment, we will be answering some questions. So feel free to post you know, your questions in the um, comment section below so that we can, um, so she can answer them. We're so lucky to have her here. I'm so we glad to be here with so you. So honored. <laughs> thank you, thank it's, you for inviting me. I cannot believe I have the great Queen Afua here in my home. <laughs> You guys been seeing me do these live videos with the background, so I am like just a child in the candy store and just, what do you need, queen? Oh, how, how are you doing? Oh. <laughs> I'm so excited. So nevertheless, um, Queen Afu is going to be here on the West Coast expanding and things. So for those of you who are out here on the West Coast with myself, we are in for a divine treat with having this goddess, a real walking god. Not them ladies that call themselves goddess on Facebook, okay? We have an actual living, walking goddess here on the West Coast that's going to really get us amped up, that's going to really get us right when it comes to this overall healing movement. I mean, and it's so divine just understanding that the North Node actually is in the sign of cancer, which is the mother, you know? And we have our divine mother here to guide us and lead the way right here, you know, in my hometown. <laughs> so nevertheless, and to no further ado, um, I definitely want you to just share with the people, mm -hmm. you know, I have so many questions that I want to ask you, but just open up and, you know, welcome everyone. And Hello. Absolutely. Well, I'm just looking at all the hearts and the flowers and the love is being sent out. And so what you're giving me is how I feel about our sisters, our mothers, our daughters, love, love. And my work is based on ancient comedic teachings from a loving place. So I'm gathering all the sisters to come together in healing and to wake up our inner healer. Yes. There's a prayer that our ancestors gave us from the beginning of time to remind us and thank again, thank you so much again for your graciousness. You are young and ancient all at the same time. <laughs> and you have so much wisdom. And I have invited you to be a part of the Global Segment Movement if with Mesh Connect. Well, let that be known. Aww. That we're going to be hearing from you and Mesh Connect, which is <laughs> birthing your purpose. That okay. is so critical. That's our last gateway. Yes. Because as we go through our healing and our transformation this semester, the big package of blessings when you can know what your purpose is yes and begin to activate your purpose Ashe. you know so you're coming in or from the spiritual realm to enhance that just honor and blessings to you thank you thank you so much mm -hmm. oh my gosh you guys have no idea working with the queen yeah we're working together <laughs> yes because it's really to resurrect all the queens and yes. could, you know it's about sitting on your seat of power and I've been doing this work for 48 years, so I've learned a lot of what to do, what not to do, how to overcome, how to when you fall down, get back up, and how to stay together with your sisters. Yes. Uh, one of the big pieces is staying together with your sisters. And it's, it began with Asa Nebit Head. Yes. This whole process of the true sister to sister, which you see me with myself and Queen Esther as an example of that. Absolutely. We've been together for about 35 years and going stronger. <laughs> and now Queen Essa is the is the dean of the Global Segment Village, and yes. you know we work together. But like right in that brain, sometime I'm carrying the seat of Nebit Head. Nebit has the, is the lady of the house and intuition. Intuition is the gift. 
is one right. of the greatest gifts women can have. When we begin to trust ourselves, you know that inner voice tells you what to do, but you don't always listen. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. when you do, you say, oh gosh, that's why it worked out. And when you don't, yes. you know what you end up saying? Wow, I should have listened. listened. You know, I and we're listened, hearing, yes. we're seeing the signs along the journey. And when we listen, life works. And when we don't, life breaks down. Ashe. So let's start breaking down and let's start building up. The gateways represent your spiritual being, your spiritual body, and your physical body of healing. Y'all are knocking me out with all this love. I want to give you a big hug, okay? <laughs> Lifting me up with the love. Well, um, this is an auspicious moment because uh, t tomorrow we're opening it up to everyone to be a part of our re reception. We have a, a second reception. Mm. Now, I'm here in L.A. Right. The work goes on. Ashe. National Blackfield, 125th Street. Everybody can tune in and, and meet us on my site, um, Facebook site, and be a part of that auspicious day. It'll be about 70 women. Yes. From all throughout the country and different parts of the world will be joining together as one mighty force of healers. Yes. And I want to charge those, and I want everyone who feels like this is my time. I've been holding on that book for 19 years or right. 15 years, and I, I need to, I need to, this is your time, then let this most high guide your steps and move forward. Absolutely. Otherwise, come in and be charged and then continue to study from the text and, and, and gather those around you. So there is a prayer that our African ancestors gave to us okay. to let us know who we are as women. And when I, I read this from the Perching Room there, the first written text of spirituality. And then when I read it, um, I said, wow, this is, makes it very plain and clear. Yeah. This is the prayer. I'll, I'm going to close my eyes and go with this. If those who want to close your eyes and go with them, just take a deep breath in oneness and harmony and balance and truth and righteousness in the spirit of my aunt. And this prayer is so we would know who we are and how to proceed in our lives. We are the women who lighten the darkness. We have come to lighten the darkness. It is lightened. We have overcome the destroyers. Mm. We are there for those who weep, who hide their faces Shame. who sunk down. They looked upon us then. We are the women. We are the healers. We are the women. We are the healers. Ashe. 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 That is who we are. Ashe, oh. But we have to overcome the destroyers. Destroyers, right, right, and mm -hmm. then the more you can overcome things that destroy you, the more empowered you are as a woman to be a healer. Absolutely, and we have to be strong to be healers because otherwise we'll be angry healers. We'll help people who say, "Why do they keep pulling on me? How come they need so much from me? Right. Why don't they just stop?" Because we, we haven't been empowering ourselves. We give, yeah. we overgive. This is the time to get yourself. Yes, self preservation is the first law of nature. If we take care of ourselves. We can give like a like a, a wellspring. Yeah. You know, I say take it your healing as a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. Everything in that cup of tea is all yours. Okay. Whatever pours out is everyone else's. So I want you to get a yes. full cup of tea yes. for yourself and take care of yourself and give yourself before you give to everybody in the morning, the children, your mm -hmm. maid, you know, social media. Right. Make sure that you you take care of your bath. <laughs> get your juicing in, do your prayers, do your meditation, do your journal work. Spend Really strong time with yourself and watch how your life begins to unfold and the many blessings that you came on this planet to, to live out, you will be able to live them out. Absolutely. And then at the end of your day, do the same thing. If you give yourself, do your bath, do your inversions we'll talk about, do your meditation, give thanks for the day. Yes. And then take your, you know, do your prayers and go to sleep with that. Yeah. When you wake up at four in the morning, five or six, you'll get a, you'll get your treasures. Mm -hmm. That's the time to tap into your treasures. That's the hour of Nebuchadnezzar, mm -hmm. the lady of the house, the lady of intuition. And you can ask any question in the universe and get the answer. Yeah. Who's your mate? Where's your money? Where's your, where are you to move from? Now, coming to you, they're going to get that information. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you want to tell the weather, the house, what, the time, the day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how we work together. Absolutely. But as we're doing that, we also want to be strong within our own walk. Yeah, because we not always can get to the healer because we are the healers. Yes. We just have to reactivate right. that principle. Now, melanin women, this is our time. It this is. This is our time. We've been knocked off our throne. Thrones have, our thrones have been stolen. They burnt us. They desecrated our holy places from thousands of years back, 400 years of child slavery. Willie Lynch, divide and separate. It's time to unify. Yeah. So in the spirit of unity, I call forth sacred woman, Muslim sacred woman. I call forth Harry Krishna's sacred woman. I call forth the Yoruba sacred woman. Okay. A kind sacred woman. I call forth um, um, 
Muslim sake, and I call forth Christian sake and women, all oh. comedic sake, all the women, if you mm -hmm. walk the path of the Most High, yes. and you're listening to the Most High guide you, and you are tapping into nature, which is what your body was made up of, mm -hmm. then you're sacred. But we, in our sacred journey, we sometimes forget who we are through the challenges of life, yeah. things pulling us off. Some of the families that we were born in, we feel stressed out and angry, mm -hmm. and our mothers and fathers, we're going to heal. Yes. And we're going to heal together from all the spiritual houses from around the world and around the country. So from gateway to gateway, we light our candles, I call out the gateways, we do our meditation, we do our prayers. And every time, every seven days, another gateway comes into play. Yeah. It's like lighting your own house up and all the body members. So the first gateway is the gateway of newt, new healing. Mm -hmm. So many women are suffering from endometriosis, unnecessary pain. They don't have to heal. Yeah. Many women are suffering from fibroid tumors. They've been growing them emotionally, mm -hmm. psychologically, in our relationships. And what we eat is poisoning them. Yeah. Um, so Absolutely. many women are having heavy menstrual flow, mm -hmm. bleeding five, seven, ten days. Sometimes a week they have a break, another week comes in. Mm -hmm. We're hemorrhaging. We think it's normal, but it's not healthy. It's normal for it to be sick, but it's not healthy. Right. And, and the, the goal is to get to optimum. So we go through all of that knowledge. And anyone wants to pick up their book tonight, this is just Sacred Women Text. Okay, all right, can you see? Yes. yes. <laughs> Turn to page 20 to 120, and I'll walk you through some of the teachings that will help you to heal your womb. And you not sound like you become your own OBGYN, but you will become your own you, healer. You know, I actually have to say something about yes. this. Okay. And I should run to the back and grab my book, mm -hmm. um, because I have Overcoming an Angry Vagina. Okay. And mm -hmm. I got the, I received the, um, the book mm -hmm. from my friend mm -hmm. because I had to, I went through years of womb healing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I have my, my babies. And then when I was younger, I had a lot of abortions, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and it was um, just very foolish choices, very lost, you know, um, and your book saved my life. Mm -hmm. You know, I read what I needed to do, um, a, along with my sister, the herb alchemist, yeah. between you two, you know, I was able to restore and cleanse myself mm -hmm. and I'm not dealing with any womb issues mm -hmm. at all anymore after having, I, I can't say the number of abortions I had. It was, it was just way too many. And, um, I mean, I was dealing with fibromyalgia, mm -hmm. back pain, mm -hmm. um, headaches. I would have my, um, menstrual cycle for 11 days, 14 mm. days, 10 days. Now it's down to five. <laughs> oh, Ashe, you know, and, um, you know, I give so much thanks for, mm. for your knowledge and your wisdom because that was way back in 2011. Mm. You know, I hadn't even met you yet and you were saving my life. Well, you know, Ryan, I got a chill just now from the left side of my brain because I, I, I'm not a writer. I never, I always say I'm not a writer, but I'm right. writing all the time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I channel. Yes, I receive, mm -hmm. and then I write down what I what I pick up from your knees before I know you. I know you. Wow, I feel you. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to us all the time. I share, and I'm saying, "Most high, help us." What do I? What can I do to make offering? Yeah. to us. What happens? So many women were coming for consultation, and it's, I asked one question, and start crying. Mm -hmm. I knew it was about the room. I said, "How can I help you?" And they were going to total silence, and they were just the tears of flow. And I said, okay, we're gonna heal your mm. And then uh, over the years, I would tell them exactly what to do. These are the foods, these are the juices, these are the prayers, this is your fan, yes, this is your yes. forgiveness work, these are the crystals, these are the stones, yes. these are the flowers. There's so many ways to heal ourselves. Right. We don't have to suffer. And then it came to me, I had to, I wrote the book Sacred Woman, but everyone can't get into this text. It's very intense for me, the right. Sacred Woman. But the overcoming was written for young women mm. because that's common ground. Yeah, we all have some type of room trauma. I've had my share of room traumas. Yes. That's why I'm so convicted. You know? Right. So I was able to overcome a lot. So I, I don't want the young women to suffer the way that I have. Yeah. And then many of our elder women, so you're young, but you don't know where you're going. If you don't do this work, mm -hmm. this direction is waiting for you. Right. The coming, the cutting away the, door. the ovary, the fallopian tube is yeah. waiting for us. But when we become womb conscious and go into womb wellness and become self-empowered, I can heal my own womb. Mm -hmm. You know, I can help my womb of my heart, my of my mind. I wrote the book because of that. Yes, I and I remember someone invited me to the the vagina monologues. An actress friend of mine, Hazel Cooper, yeah. and all of New York City came. About 
this conversation with vagina. I said, this is amazing. <laughs> right, tell the people well, I out. mean, it sells. I mean. It sells everything in this world. <laughs> and you can't go to this planet without it. Right. Without her. We can it right. Okay. Exactly. So, but you know what I heard? I heard the women crying and screaming. They were actresses doing the monologues, yeah. right? And I said, but what's missing here is they had no answers. Mm. How do we stop crying? How do we How stop do we screaming? Stop? Yes. How do we overcome this pain? Yes. And so that's where the book Overcoming an Angry Vagina Judgment Wellness. And I'm going to be teaching a training. Right now we're closing out. Mm -hmm. um, it's a four-week training at the end of April. You can, people can, sisters can register now. And that's womb, total womb wellness, womb wellness, womb care. And we will definitely put the links in um, the description box and um, in the comments as well. Mm -hmm. And if if you guys know the links, like Herb Alchemist, if you're on, if you can post in the comments um, so people can go and check it out right now while we're on. Well, Queen, I, I'm just so and that's thrilled. That's just one of the gateways. That's one of, uh, right. of 12. One of 12. It's, one of 12. 12. Listen to this. So I have a question for uh -huh. you. And I know in your books, you, you, you give your story, you know, of your own journey. Mm -hmm. And I know you've been interviewed many times. So I don't want to ask you that. But what I do want to ask is, what do you feel has been the number one complaint when it comes to the womb that women are experiencing in today's mm -hmm. time? Okay. Hemorrhaging. And they're unconscious of their hemorrhaging. Did you guys hear that? Hemorrhaging and unconscious that you're hemorrhaging. Mm -hmm. so, so what do you mean by that? Mm -hmm. Now, if you go to your physician, mm -hmm. the physician will not state that you're hemorrhaging. Right. They will tell you, oh, you're bleeding seven, eight days, 10 days. That's normal for you. Normal mm -hmm. is not healthy. Right. The norm could be, if everybody's screaming, it becomes normal that you scream at your children. That exactly. becomes normal. Right? If you're beating up your mate, you're fighting all the time, that becomes normal. That's normal. Yeah. That's yeah. your norm. But that's not optimal. So the average woman is bleeding too much. She's hemorrhaging. And, she, wow. and when she bleeds heavy, she loses her brain consciousness because mm -hmm. that blood is also drained from her brain. Wow. And they found, it was a, I, years ago, I found some information on many of the women who end up in prison out from, because of violence that they have given, it was around their menses. They lost their mind. Post-traumatic stress. Yes. PMS. <laughs> PMS. Yes. And men know, stay away from us then. Yeah. They may fight and argue all throughout. But when we're on our mission place, uh oh, right. we back off because it can get violent. Right. We can get violent then because we're losing our life. Mm -hmm. We're losing the life is the blood. Yeah. The more blood we lose, the more we're losing our life. That's how we have to lay we're down. Our mind. Right. We have to lay down like we're being hospitalized. We um get we quit to anger. Mm -hmm. We curse people out, our children. They, you know, it gets deep with us during that menstrual time. It shouldn't be that. Yeah. We're bleeding too heavy. I have to eat women out of harm's way. Wow. Our menstrual flow should be no more than three days, two days, one day, a few hours. No pain, no PMS, no vaginal discharge, wow. no clot, and then we'll be more in tune. See, when your menstrual flow is heavy, you start attracting relationships that are heavy and toxic too. The more toxic your womb, the more toxic the relationships are. The healthier your womb, the healthy relationship that you attract. Your womb is a readout of yes. what's going on in your life. Mm -hmm. So that's why I, when women work with me, I get their menstrual flow down. So women who go through sacred women, they may go from seven, eight days, 10, but every yeah. month, it'd be one day less and one day less. And what's happening during that time? The fibroid tumors, because that's common ground. Now. Yeah. Most of the time in their 30s, they have a fibroid tumor. When they're in their 20s, they have a cyst. Right. And the teenager have a bad discharge and, and cramp yeah, yeah. So as the years progress, we get worse. Right. When we hit 40, we get a prolapsed uterus. The uterus drops down. That's pre-hysterectomy. Pre it just keeps getting deeper. And if you have, and so because the tumor growth and the initial flow, they go, they work hand in hand. Uh -huh. So when you start to move into a vegan vegetarian lifestyle, mm -hmm. then it starts to decrease. Right. When you start to forgive, then yes. it starts to decrease. Because every relationship is your consciousness. Mm -hmm. We create our relationships from yeah. how we think, what we feel, what we're eating. Yes. And then we look and say, it's your fault. You did this. <laughs> we're angry. It's, it's our, we have created that relationship. And so how do you get your power back? Connect to your womb. And it's not one womb part. It's like there's three womb centers. Womb of the mind. I'm going to do a prayer with you to help to strengthen us so we can look at our menstrual flow as a, mm -hmm. as a, a self-diagnostic um, flow yeah so your menstrual flow should not be heavy it should not be painful 
It okay. should not be clotting. Mm-hmm. You should not, should not have a vaginal odor. You should not mm-hmm. have a mood swing. Now that is all normal. I was one of those women. Right. In my well, as a teenager, I was bedridden every night. I would throw up. I'd be nauseous. I would get angry. I would, I would get headaches. That was, and I thought that right. was normal. Right. Right. I mean, everybody and it was, was your like, normal, it was but normal, it wasn't healthy. healthy right. That's and right. there was nobody to even tell me what to do. So I bumped into healing by detoxing from my asthma, wow. from my allergies, from my eczema from head to toe. All of a sudden, while I was detoxing and fasting and purging, my womb started to shift. Wow. And I was saying, wow, like, wait a minute. Yeah. I, my womb just, my menstrual flow came and I had no pain. I said, wait a minute, how am I bleeding now with no pain? I'm not stretched out. I'm not crying. Mm-hmm. I'm not throwing up. I'm not mm-hmm, nauseous, mm-hmm. and it just came. It should not come like a vengeance. Right. It should not come with all rage, but it comes with all of that. Right. So as we begin to do blood detox and we shift. So that's the common thread. Yeah. Check your menstrual flow, and you will know where you're going. And if your menstrual flow is heavy, you say, well, I'm in menopause now. No, it's going to be worse. See, when your menstrual flow is toxic, then when you go into menopause, it'll be just as toxic. Mm. Then you're going to go through the stuff, of depression and self-defeat. And you're going to be angry. The angry glass syndrome gets strong as we get old as women. Yeah. Because we don't feel we yeah. lived out our purpose. Yes. And we're feeling sick. And we start adding up all the people who did whatever things to us. So we're angry from uh, 2015. We're angry from 2016. And somebody looked at us a certain way and said, and it's all showing up in our womb syndrome. Yeah. So I'm going to give everyone this affirmation. Place your palms together. And just stay in prayer. Stay in the heights. Womb of the mind, we're going to go. Womb of the heart. And womb of our seed of creation. So let this day be, this night, this coming together be the beginning of your womb healing. Awaken the womb of my mind. So you'll call for all our sisters. I'll call, you'll respond. Okay. okay. Awaken the womb of my mind. Awaken the womb of my mm-hmm. mind. For what I think, I birth, I create. For what I think, I birth, I create. Inhale deep. Now place your palms right in between your breasts. Okay, your heart center now. Awaken the womb of my heart. Awaken the womb of my heart. For what I feel, I birth, I create. For what I feel, I birth, I create. Inhale deep. Now, your hands are now, this is sacred geometry, the Merkut, the symbol of resurrection, the pyramid. So you place that, the right palm over the right ovary, Mm -hmm. and left palm over the left ovary, same position. Now, it is normally... Um, going upward, uh-huh. but because the pyramid is going downward, you're going to see the pyramid going into the earth. Okay. From the earth, the minerals are being pulled out, so that means our vegetables, our fruits, is all going to the womb. The herbs, the plants, the aromatherapy is going into our womb centers, mm-hmm. and we're pulling it to bring into our womb so our wombs are not collapsing, mm-hmm. they're not um, uh, mal- they're mal- malfunctioning. Right. They're not, we're not infertile because our wombs are, have been shut down. Mm-hmm. I'm not talking about just physical, but emotionally emotional. infertile. Like your life doesn't open up. Right. And, like beautiful things don't come to you because of the need fertility mm-hmm. of our lives. Yeah. So when we put this Merkut shape here, we are now having the dominion of our wombs. So this is the final prayer. Awaken my seat of creation. Awaken my seat of creation. For what I think and what I feel. For what I think and what I feel, I birth through my seed of creation. I birth through my seed of creation. And today I birth womb wellness. And today I birth womb wellness. Today I birth a new world. Today I birth a new world of body, mind, and spiritual wholeness. Of body, mind, and spiritual wholeness. For I have awakened. For I have awakened. Then you put your palms in your lap, facing upward to receive the healing. The healing is there for you. This is your moment. This is your time. We commit to your healing. I'm just going to Hesse womb, and then we're going to Hesse the metronome to word for womb, which is Shashat, Shashat. In your B. In your B. Shashat. I say, I say, I say, we give thanks. But mm. this is the frequency of power. Yes. When we control our wounds, we have no more 
wounds removal. Right. In the opening of the gateway of the womb, I have Dr. Ju Fukum. Mm -hmm. Dr. Ju Fukum, she's a very beloved friend of myself and Queen Esther. We have what's called a triad. Yes. And we meet once, we've been meeting for two years um, every week to share the yeah. healing, the medicine. She was an OBGYN. She is still an OBGYN. Right. She's a surgeon. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And she had a uh, contracted cancer. And she was told if she opened up her body that the cancer would spread. She had no other option but to heal herself holistically and naturally. And that she did. She was able to overcome. She mm -hmm. went to a vegetarian yeah, lifestyle, sweat lodges, herbs. She moved in deep. Mm -hmm. And she put down, what she did was so big, she put down her scalp and she had to do another surgery, surgical procedure. She also said, I got tired of taking out women's wounds and pieces. Mm -hmm. And over this year, a fallopian tube this year. Right. So we have her as the elder of the wound works because of her devotion yes. to the healing. And then she's taken it to brain balance. She took it to another level because the brain mm -hmm. is connected to the ears. Yes. Right. So we, we, we're totally one with that spirit. So just on you speaking of the overcoming book. Yeah. The image of the cover is to help you overcome. That image of the cover is a lotus. Yes. A lotus is, a, is an African symbol for purification and for wholeness and a woman's in her full bloom mm -hmm. when she's happy. Yeah. Thank you. When she's radiant. <laughs> when she's attracting. I have a lotus right here, too. Oh, you do. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> wow. Gong. <laughs> Shine. Oh, my. I'm so delighted to see that. <laughs> you have a lotus bloom. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, <laughs> after <laughs> reading your book. <laughs> It would be asking your soul for all eternity. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and so on the cover, you see the ovaries are yeah. inside the lotus. Mm -hmm. so you look close, you see the ovaries, you see the fallopian tube. And that means that even if the, lo the uterus was hurt by past relationships, hitting my lovers, mm -hmm. you know, and, just, you know and, and men will say, I hit that. Yeah. So what, they beat you while, while you're having what's called lovemaking. They right. hit it. They hit it. They beat that down. They beat it up. <laughs> and, then yeah. you, and you feel beaten, and then you don't see them anymore, possibly. Right. Or you may marry them, and you, still, and you continue getting beaten. Get, right. <laughs> because they have by to By the fist too. and by the other uh, little men. Right. Our men have to heal, too. <laughs> yeah. Their prostates are in danger. Man. And when, by the time they're 40, they have erectile dysfunction. And if they stay in the marriage... Is it at 40 time, or is it at 28? Because uh, I'm just kidding. Let me stop. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm just younger and younger. It's happening younger right, and younger, right? Yeah, right. And because mm -hmm. of the lifestyle, but just as women can rejuvenate, our men can rejuvenate. Yes, and that's the importance of sacred yes. women because because we are the primary heels of the home. No one outside yeah. of the house. Yeah. Our home is our wellness center, and we are the heels of the home. If we can accept that, then we can start to restore ourselves, our mates, our children, our families, Absolutely. the elders. It all is on us. Yes. But then, if we don't take care of ourselves, then we cannot help our families. And then our family's in disarray. And we have to go to the hospital because we don't know anything else to do. Right. We have to take that surgery because we don't know there's an alternative out of that. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're doing things unnatural because we don't know how to live natural. So right. the goal is to become natural. In, in, in the belly of the beast, to come natural in the concrete because the lotus can go out of the concrete. Yeah, you know? Nothing can stop the lotus when she's ready to birth herself. Mm -hmm. Nothing can stop a queen when she's ready to sit on her throne. That's right. Right? So the womb works. You brought me right. I could talk about womb works breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Because <laughs> I, I, I developed a method called womb yoga dance. Yes. It's 108 poses for liberating the woman based on ancient comedic movements. Mm. One of the most prime, there's two movements that I would say if everyone does, they'll have a healing. One is to lay flat in your bed and put three pillows at the foot of the bed. Okay. Rest your legs over those pillows when you're in inversion. Mm -hmm. We stand mm -hmm. upright, so as we age, our breast drops, our uterus, our colon drops. It mm -hmm. drops over time on the bladder because it's heavy from years of constipation. Yes. And then our bladder, our colon, and bladder drops on our uterus. And our uterus starts flat out. Then that's prolapse, which has to be removed. Because it, we, we can pull it back up. Cast yeah. or pass, pay, pay. you know, there's so many ways. Yeah. Get a consultation, come to the workshop, wound care. Okay. Yes. So for all of that, then our legs expand, and that's aging. Mm -hmm. and, our, and our minds drop, so we get depressed, we get Alzheimer's. So mm -hmm. everything starts dropping down. Now, how do you have youth all your life, even as you're older, as you mature? Invert every day. 
Mm. That is the ancient African pose for resurrection. Do you guys hear this? Are you taking these jewels in, writing them down and applying them? Mm -hmm. This is amazing. And it's so simple. It's such mm -hmm. a simple technique. But like when your sister said today, so the inverse, what does it do again? I said, it restores the brain, left in my brain, because wow. the image is going back into the brain, the memory. It's mm -hmm. just clogged up memory. Right, clogged up right, that's right. It helps to give energy to the heart. So if you're having heart palpitations or shortness of breath, mm -hmm. your lungs are called congested. It, inversion, it opens up the lungs, it opens up the breast, the heart. So if you have cystic breasts mm -hmm. and you begin to massage in an inversion, you'll break that up and then the blood can flow, the nourishment can flow through the breast, you'll keep your breast all your life healthy. Right. It moves your colon, your bladder, and the uterus back to its proper place. Mm -hmm. No one has gone through surgery to pick it up. You can pick it up yourself, pulling it up, massaging yeah. it, loving her. Forgiving all that pulls her back up. Right. And that also, if women have dead legs, as you get older, people still have, you know what dead legs are? When you see people walking in the street with canes. Yeah. Or you see them kind of dragging, those mm -hmm. are dead legs. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be able to run and, and leap all your life. Right. Move up the steps, move down the steps. And because the dead legs, there's no circulation. So get rid of the dead legs. That inversion, the prayer was we must bring our soul to life. Yeah. And doing that inversion within the soul, body, mind, and spirit to life. And the mm -hmm. son is here giving his love from his mama. Moses. Okay, you can um, eat some more lentils and or get a Thank lunch. you for sending all that love. <laughs> <laughs> Flowers. I am that. just, I'm here. I'm just so thrilled um, just getting all of this information. I'm going to actually look at some of your guys' questions. Wow, 85 comments we have. Thank you for Sacred Woman. I carry the book with me everywhere I go, and I read it every day. This is great. That was me. Yes, uh, this is my sister, um, Brittany Yard. She actually, registered she, she's already registered, Wonderful. and she actually is an herbalist. Mm -hmm. She has an amazing company called Almas mm -hmm. Healing Services, mm -hmm. and she's been helping people heal their wounds, heal oh, from okay. cancers, Wonderful. and just restore themselves back mm -hmm. to optimal health. Mm -hmm. But her story and your story is very similar mm -hmm. when it comes to the menstrual cycle, mm -hmm. you know, dealing with... I mean, it was so scary, you know, just having her just in pain and mm -hmm. going through so, so many things when it came to that. So she, she's on here watching. Okay. Hey, sis, love you. Greetings. Blessings to all my sisters. Thank you for being on. And even Sequathi said that was her too. Mm. Yes, my You're overcoming, right? Yeah. That's the whole play. You're overcoming. One day I have to do the play. One day I have to do, uh, I, call, I told Kazi about um, uh, one sister, she mm -hmm. said, what helped her was the gateway of my art. It was about relationships. That was her issue when she came to see me months ago, mm -hmm. or last year. Mm -hmm. And now she's one of our, our teachers, our, our leaders, oh, right? Shay. Look she at that. She said when she, her husband brought her to see me, and she had her hands full like this, <laughs> the neck rolling, and you know, just <laughs> totally not want to be engaged. Oh my goodness. She said, I was an angry black woman. Wow. That and she hard. said, I am at peace now. Wow. I love myself. I'm me and my mate, my husband, working out our relationship. Yes. I'm being more forgiving. And she says, I've been angry for so long. I thought that was just normal to be mm. angry and mad and you want to fight. So she said, I'm, I'm fighting for my wellness now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, and she came to the right place, and too. And gave me of my aunt. So for those who are, want to take the journey, I'll just basically just go through each one. We, we spend a lot of time with Boom Hill because it's so, that's yeah. the biggest part of the book. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's our foundation. That's the very foundation that's of the, life. That, uh, yeah. No one can give you a lot of vibration. Yeah, and I'm, I'm telling you, you know, I've been healing and a lot of my followers um, know I've been healing from gut issues and autoimmune issues, but, you know, me healing my womb well, led said, me to, you said gut, the, the colon, yeah. and the, the one. Yes. yes. I was a colon therapist for 15 years. Wow. So I know for sure when you clean out that colon, the womb heals. Mm. The bladder heals. The kidneys heal. Yeah. This core is everything. So as you Every take care thing. of that centerpiece, that centerpiece of your being, mm -hmm. then you begin to birth a new you, mm -hmm. a new woman, a woman of power, a woman of grace. Oh, absolutely. A woman of wellness. I, I totally aged myself backwards by oh, like 15 yeah. years. Oh, absolutely. So, yes, she is the queen author of the book, Heal Thyself, Man, Heal Thyself. Well, seven books. Se okay. Seven books. I'll just call them all out. 
So just in case. Yes. <laughs> Once Heal Thyself, that's a, that's a self-help beginner's book, a wonderful book. That was about 35 years ago. And right. it was really about me healing me too. Yeah. And I was healing all in it. I'm still healing. You never stop. Right. Um, then Sacred Woman, of course, a guide to her to by my spirit, overcoming man heal thyself. Mm -hmm. Man heal thyself came because the men were having, they were getting upset. They said, right. okay, it's enough. You wrote a book, Overcoming and Sacred Woman, where's our book? Right, right. <laughs> so I said, well, I think that a man should be writing a book for men. Right. And they would not take no for an answer. Mm. So I ended up writing from my perspective as a healer. Yes. And so I helped the men to bring 22 body members back. Wow. And he puts himself back together through the meditation, through the prayers, through the nature cures, through the affirmations until he becomes whole. And just as the women go through their rights, he yeah. can go through his rights. And he becomes a wellness warrior. Yes, I see. He meets with the healing juggernauts, which are men who have been well-versed in healing. Mm. Some of the elder men. I just started out so that I can get them going as a, as a mother. Yeah. Know, nurturing them Absolutely. and praying for them so that the women have whole men. I know. Mm. Yes. So, so many women are healing and our men be, we need balance. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, Actually. you know, you a whole course meal and he McDonald's. I'm like, this does not work. <laughs> right, right. They're coming for healing. They may think they're coming for sex, but they're actually coming for healing. Yeah, so that's... Heal them and then they'll come for love. And, and, and then you just... Abundant. Yeah, you realize how many of them need that healing, mm -hmm. you know. It's a norm. You have to have it. And so we go into Tahuti. Tahuti is the word. Uh -huh. And so we speak the word of medicine. It's called Hekali words of power okay. and so you know your mother may have been saying things when you was a child that hurt your spirit your father may have been saying because they were hurt you know, yes hurt hurt absolutely people. and they gave you what they had but it happens if you don't heal the words that they gave you that was not well some were healthy and some was not then you'll give that to your children yeah and you'll keep the pathology of the word a break a brokenness tell them they're not good enough they're not strong enough they're not intelligent enough and like you treat you calling your children the high notes, the high frequency. Did you say his millionaire? Who did you say he was? his name? That's his middle name, Million. His name mm. is Moses Million. Oh my! I thought I was hearing things. You are <laughs> very conscious. <laughs> so that's that's the word. Yeah. So you empowered him to think that, and yeah. that's why he's so excellent. That's why mm -hmm. he's just track and field number one. That's why he's number one in school because you charged mm. him with not your word, your action, your thoughts, your deeds, mm. everything. And so that will show up in the long right. run from the work that the mother does, the That's mother, right. the woman, the family. So the words, then that itself is power. Mm -hmm. So don't put yourself down. Don't beat yourself up. Lift yourself up from this day going forward. If you fall down, get back up and say, yes, I'm learning. I'm growing. Yep. I'm getting better. I'm getting stronger. Choose your word before you speak. And don't do the silent killers because right. you can not say one word outside. But inside you're saying, I'm not worthy. I'm mm -hmm. not worthy. You'll get a man who's saying, He's not worthy. He's not good enough. And then your children will have no respect for you. It's just all of this. So we have to clean up our Revolving door. Oh, yes, and overcome. Then another gateway is food as medicine. You know, we are what we eat. And I'm saying, go to the garden. The spirit of the mother taught to, from Tahuti, word as medicine, to great mother Nuke, boom as medicine, to to Ta'ert, which is about vegetation, mm -hmm. going to the garden. If you eat your food from the garden, you will overcome your sickness. Man, that's it. Don't make the grocery store your garden. But right. if the grocery store is your garden, then let make sure that the food in the grocery store reflects the food from the garden, the package, yes. and the free and all that, you know, overcooking the microwave. Second women, we don't we, we move away from that because that poisons us mm -hmm. and we become we're not as impactful. Mm -hmm. And so I say, let's all eat from the garden. So I say, when we do a fast, we do a seven-day fast together. Mm -hmm. The whole world of women, we go into a fast. We get into the gateway of Thai earth. And then we go from food as medicine into movement as medicine, mm -hmm. which is a yoga practice. And we also get yeah. unstuck. You know, some of us in traps. We have relationship traps. We have job <laughs> traps. We have financial traps. We're in a trap, trick trap bag. Man, and now they got trap music. Trap, and <laughs> trap queens. Man, yeah, you know, they got a whole song, uh -huh, they got, and they keep us all oh, we doing like this. We trap, and we are firm, <laughs> right. and we're trapped, and we're stuck, <laughs> and we can't get out of this trap. And so, we're gonna drum ourselves, we're gonna dance ourselves, we're gonna work ourselves out of all the traps. That's what we said to sacred women. Yes. I have overcome the issues. Like, I am, I, we are sacred women, we are healed by our nature. And so we said we will overcome all the ills of the world. Gotcha. But you have the conscience to affirm it and be in community. Mm -hmm. Women are communal. Mm -hmm. 
We do yes. best working together than apart. Yes, we do. The more we, the sisterhood is strong and safe with women. So if a sister is going through a change, we come, we come to her aid. Yeah. We help her. We don't just leave her out to die. Right. Any way that we can help, we all come together. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's the sisterhood. And so from the movement as medicine, then we have Heteru. Heteru is about beauty. Mm-hmm. But beauty starts from inside. And I was able to see as my reflection and meditation that Heteru, to be beautiful, you have to go to your child. Yes. You've got to go find her. Who is she? Is she under a bed? Is she under a rock? Is she in a closet? Is mm-hmm. she in a shower? Is she crying? Is she screaming? That little five-year-old, that seven-year-old, she might have been abused sexually. She might yeah. have been beat, tortured, yelled at, screamed yeah. at. So she's still crying. Mm-hmm. And that little baby, that little one, is still in us at 20 and 30 and 40 years old. Yeah. Go pretend to her. Go find where she is and sit next to her. Why? Mm-hmm. She's still traumatized. Yes. And tell her, I have a place for you to go to. Come with me. We're going to heal together. And she's going to start merging with you. And you're going to always remember her. Mm-hmm. You're going to embrace her. And you're going to feed her healthy foods now. Yeah. And you're going to tell her how much you, how beautiful she is. Yes. And how much you love her. Look at her in the mirror and say, aren't we beautiful together? Mm-hmm. And then that little child will stop crying. She'll start to pray with you. She'll start to move with you. Because we have angry yes. women, angry teenagers. Yeah. Because all that, and then angry mothers. Yeah. They they become angry, angry grandmothers. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. We go through a cycle of rage. And <laughs> we got to go to all those little those parts of ourselves. Throughout the generations. And in, in generational oh. curse and generational pain, we're going to heal. Mm-hmm. So we got to all get busy and become those healers, sisters. Come on board. Come in the circle of the safe woman journey and be healed. And then we have... That beauty then begins to rain out from within. Mm-hmm. And then we have um, the spirit of Nebuchadnezzar, which is my guardian. Nebuchadnezzar, like I said again, intuition. Mm-hmm. We have to wake that up and begin to use it on every level. Yeah. If you say, I don't know what to do, never say the word, I don't know what to do. You right. say, I'm listening mm-hmm. for my guidance. Because mm-hmm. you I know like it's that. there. It's already there. It's yes. already contained. It came with you on the, as a package. All you have to do is take time to be still. Take time to reflect. Maybe I, you, when I spoke to you, you came to pick me up. You said, I went to nature and I sat around the trees, around the grass, and I took time. I was journaling. I took all that. Every time I'm taking it in, right? Oh. And I said, okay, it's so wonderful that you would take time. Mm-hmm. And you know that was so important. Mm-hmm. Because when you do that, then you hear, the, you hear the most high talk to you. Absolutely. Right. You know everything to do. You just mm-hmm. have to know that we do know. We're just not aware how much we know. And we just have to get out of our own way. Get out of the way. Yeah, and, and the best the way to do it. that is to go into silence. I go into yes. silence every single day. Oh. And I go to nature. It's, I'll show you, too, okay. this week. I'll show you, you know, over there where I go. But, yeah, absolutely. So you guys are hearing everything that Queen is speaking on, touching on. I feel like I just went through a whole journey just with this talk alone. And I hope you guys are feeling the same way. I see that um, I'm having some questions on the feed about – um, how to detox the womb specifically in techniques. And you will receive that with joining the Sacred Woman program. There's definitely a series of things and detoxes and steps that you have to take. So I just advise to follow the program thoroughly, you know, and all the way to the end so that you can truly be restored. And I'm going to look um, at to see if we have any more comments um, or questions. And if not, we're going to end the live. And I just really, really advise everyone that is here that has questions and, you know, you guys just loving and liking this, go further on your healing journey. I myself, you know, um, I've been raped several times. I've shared that with you guys before. And I had a lot of abuse to myself and to my womb. And listening to the queen, well, now I have her in person, (laughs) but, you know, having her book has definitely helped restore me along with the um, advice and the, the guidance from my sister, the herb alchemist. And I just really, really encourage all of you ladies who are on here to start there, start with the womb. It is the seat of all of creation, you know, and why not when it comes to, you know, nice shoes, we make sure we go and get the best and highest quality mm-hmm. shoes. You know, we go and get the, this organic food. Why not get the highest quality and most organic healing through the queen herself? 
you know, through Queen Afua, who has taught so many and, and is literally a replica of the divine work that she does. If you guys haven't seen this goddess dance, you guys are missing out. So I just definitely encourage all of you guys that are here today to seek that womb healing. It's only going to benefit you. It's not going to take anything from you. It's going to just make you happier, more whole, more clear, more vibrant, more beautiful, more sane, more stable, and more magnetic to receive your abundance. Our womb is a magnetic energy force within us. And when it's clear and when it's healed, now we're magnetizing to us the things that are clear and that are pure and that are meant for us. The more toxic we are in this area, the more toxic our environment, the more toxic things we actually magnetize to ourselves. So get it from the best, you guys. When you get it, your car fixed at the mechanic, you're not going to get the homie down the street that just watched a few YouTube videos, okay? You're going to go to Jiffy Lube or somebody you know is qualified to fix, fix your vehicle. So why not get your womb healing from the one who does it best and knows the most in this field and has been doing it for so long? You know, Saturn is in Capricorn. It's time for us to go in the direction toward those who are who have the status and who have the certifications and who has the the knowledge and have paid the paved the way in these fields to really really truly get the work done and the healing done that we absolutely need at the level that we need it to be done so i thank you guys so much for joining thank you so much to uh the herb alchemist Brittany yard for posting the um the website here queenafua.com Check her, check uh, the queen out on Instagram, Queen of Fua, on all social sites. You know, follow her even on Facebook, like her page. And you guys will be seeing more of her if you guys are here on the West Coast. You definitely want to stay in tune so you can meet this goddess in person. Seeing people online is one thing, you know, but there's nothing like seeing the person in person. And it's kind of like watching someone drinking a glass of orange juice rather than actually drinking a glass of mm -hmm. orange juice yourself. Or I'm going to be a little Kateria knows about it. <laughs> it's like having, you know, intimacy with, you know, that, that rubber on or being with your divine counterpart, your husband and being able to exchange without that piece of rubber. Okay. So come out, meet the queen live and in person, get that healing, get that truth, feel her spirit, be in this presence. And uh, she's a Leo. So y'all want to feel the heat of the sun. Mm -hmm. It's going <laughs> to enliven you and uplift you and bring you that joy and that, that just overall bliss. So divine, yes, she is magical. Thank you. Mm -hmm. She lets you play in segments. Yes, she does. <laughs> Absolutely. So any closing you know words? Yes, we're about to thank you so much. Thank you for receiving me. I love you as you love me. We love each other. So love journey. We are beginning our journey tomorrow. We're having our reception. It's not too late. The gate, the first gateway will be opening next on Friday, next Sunday at 3 o'clock. Uh, 12 o'clock in LA, 3 o'clock in um, New York, and or, and so come and be a part of that. So you can check on the website, uh, Queen of Four, AFUA com. register, and then we'll take you from there. You'll have your mentor assigned to you, your mentor circle. You'll have your master class held on Thursdays, which will be at one of the final master class. So we have for Mesh Connect with my purpose. That's a good thing. So I'll be helping you guys Thank find you. your purpose. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful and then i'll be there every uh broad day with you just holding hands and hearts and keeping us on our journey when you come out of this 12 weeks you're starting now all through the spring and summer when you come to the other side you'll be able to have the information the inspiration to be able to take care of yourself body mind and spirit as well as your family your husband your children the elders in the family is to empower the women that you are healing now of your home and your home will become a wellness center. Whoever comes to your home going forward will be able to receive a healing from your knowledge, from what you learn from sacred. And so many healers are coming on the path anyway. Right. We have herbalists, we have acupuncturists, we have midwives, yes. we have doulas, we have, um, you know, so many different levels of women. So just to be in a company yeah. of all these beautiful light beings mm -hmm. coming together on this planet is an amazing experience. Right. So if they come in the circle, thank you. All right, you guys. Much love and light. Love and just and stay light. connected okay. and to, to be updated with the different events that the Queen will have coming up this week. All right. Oh, okay. Tawana, we're going to see you in the program then. Yay. 
Have a lovely night. Wonderful. Call in. Those who call in the 24 hours, you get a free 10 minute tune up with me. I was doing that all day today. Yes, I know. <laughs> I, I could barely get a minute in with you. I'm like, where are my 10 minutes up? <laughs> you will get you. You'll get more than that. <laughs> all right, you guys. Much light and love. Peace. Peace and blessings.